I like him. I like him. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, what tickets do I need to go buy when they get available? Because it's going to be a great uh, Cheyenne Frontier Day. So many great artists. Now, what we're watching here is a quick burst of some rain and snow here in Denver, possibly on Friday. But then we're warmer and sunny throughout the weekend, but cooler and wet weather will arrive next week. So let's start off with the satellite and radar. We did have a little bit of rain and snow down in southeastern Colorado today. Otherwise, it was a dry, beautiful day across the state. And looking at our future cast for tonight, we stay on the dry side, but early tomorrow morning. We start to get a little bit of snow to creep back into northwestern Colorado, and then that will get more widespread throughout the afternoon and into the evening. And then later in the afternoon, I'd say probably after about four o'clock ish, chance for some of that to move through Denver, and then it pops out to the eastern plains very quickly. This is a very fast moving system. It will be gone uh, from the front range in eastern plains by late Friday night, early Saturday morning. And our mountains may still see a little bit of snow on Saturday as well. But we have a winter weather advisory. This shows how fast it is from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m tomorrow we could see about four to eight inches of snow for that northwestern part of the state but this is just a single day advisory so after that snow kind of settles down a little bit but we could still see some snow on saturday in the high country now this is our drought monitor it was released today and updated no major changes out there so that's good news but all the gray you see on the western side of the state that's no drought so almost all of the high country and western side of the state is drought free not the same for the eastern plains we don't like seeing those corners in the dark red but thankfully in the last week they haven't expanded but they certainly haven't gotten any better either. So uh, the drop monitor doing okay. It could be better though. Our weather watcher Tom Ruprecht reporting 46 degrees for us in Centennial this evening and temperatures across the state 42 out at DIA 46 in Boulder right now. We have the th uh, 30s to the 40s out east with lots of 20s 30s in the high country and then tonight 23 in Denver 25 in Boulder. A lot of single digits in the high country into northwestern Colorado 20s teens out east and then tomorrow 44 in Denver about the same as today 46 in Greeley upper 50s in the southeast, 30s in the high country, and then looking at our super seven day forecast, we do have that chance for some moisture in Denver on Friday. So the morning hours were dry, the snow builds in the high country. We have increasing clouds throughout the afternoon, and again, you'll notice just that quick little burst moving through. Whatever we get won't last for long, maybe a couple of hours, and then it's gone. Some of you may see rain, some may see a rain snow mix, and then as it moves out into the evening hours to the eastern plains, then it should fully change over into snow. So we don't expect much accumulation out that way, but we'd love to see maybe a couple of inches out there, but it probably should stay less than one or two. And then on Sunday, 54. Sunday is just going to be a stunner of a day. 54 here in Denver, 50 in Greeley, 53 in Boulder, 60s to the 70s for the far eastern plains. So it's pretty warm out there. 30s in the high country with some fresh powder out there from Friday and Saturday. Then on Monday, we drop down to about 40. Tuesday, a little wet weather pattern settles in. It doesn't look like a ton of moisture for Denver, maybe some light snow on and off, uh, but some better snow for the high country. But it will be uh, you know, bring the jacket back out kind of mm. weather as we get to the low 40s and low 30s. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Lauren. Well, CBS News.